welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lucian Quinn. We have an exciting deck here where we're going to be attacking using Quick Attack and also using Challengers using that combo. Also, some Scouts. All right, so the main thing about our deck here is we are going to be playing Rush. So we got three Rush in the deck, give an ally plus one, plus zero, and a quick attack this round. So that's going to work really well with different things with Challenger giving a quick attack. Now what's going to work really well with is when you have something that has challenge, Challenger and a Scout, so it can attack twice in a turn. So if we can, we can have like Blinding Assault plus Rush, and uh, we've done this combo before, it's pretty awesome. You have a 3-1 quick attack challenger scout so then you get to attack once kill something with three or less health and then attack again kill another thing with three or less health and you get to keep your blinding assault and you spent one whole mana and one card for that also works perfectly with genevieve elmhart this plus rush gives you six power quick attack with the challenge scout you can take down at two huge things with that so we have we have that combo um we have blinding assault plus uh you know valor being able to get that so pretty cool little combo with that. Uh, let's see, what else? We also have Inspiring Mentor in here, which could be cool. We're gonna try out this new Ionia card, being able to give some allies in hand plus one, plus zero. All of these things, you know, getting plus one, plus zero, whether it's a challenger or whether it's something with quick attack, can be pretty useful. Like giving that to like Senna, for example, would make Senna a five, two, which just makes it way, you know, just even more difficult to block, you know, making that thing a five, two. Um, and, you know, same with, like, Lucian and stuff like that. So we have some neat little combat tricks we can do in yeah. here. And, uh, yeah, our deck should be able to own a combat pretty well. Now, we're, what we're going to struggle against are decks with, like, a, um, like a bunch of removal. And that they're not if they're not playing units and they're just playing all removal spells, we're probably going to struggle a little bit more with that. So, you know, like your avalanches, your ruinations, all that kind of stuff. But if they're playing units out, we should do it just fine. So let's try this out. This is going to be Lucian Quinn. And we'll go play our five games over in Ranked. Alright, looks like we're playing against another deck that's trying to win combat with all their Frostbite stuff. Um, we're definitely going to Mulligan Rangers Resolve. I want to keep Fleet Feather Tracker Rush, and I want to keep Quinn. Um, Culling Strike. Like, they're going to have like some problems for us. Right, you know, like their culling strike, their their flash freeze. Like, you know, if I try to go Fleet Feather Tracker plus Rush, and they go Brittle Steel, obviously that's going to be a big problem. So that's just stuff that's going to happen. Um, playing the Tracker first to give a Challenger, I'm going to have the Mentor pump up the Quinn, so Quinn won't die immediately to culling strike. Something that's a little different. Bring me tea to gain the strength of rivers. Visa is a sea all. That's something that's a little different. I'm just gonna pass. The trap is set. Okay. Wanted to see what they would do. I really hope they don't have Brittle Steel. I know I'm setting myself up for Brittle Steel, and I could have just used. Ah, uh, they did have Brittle Steel. Could have just used the barrier on. On that thing. Just gonna watch that. But maybe the rush with the Valor works out better. I went for the high upside play. You know, but now I want to play Grizzled Ranger and then Quinn. Slow down, will you? All the world on one arrow. Nothing gets between me and my mother. Hot damn is the boss. You bet car cut. Here we go. 
Man, this would be great if this worked. Like, if this works and they don't have a Flash Freeze card, uh, they just have another Brittle Steel. And these Brittle Steels are killing us, but just, you can see the power of what Rush plus Valor could be, right? Like, we'd be able to, like, challenge the Ash and kill it, and, you know, challenge, like, a, a Starless here, kill it. You can see the potential. These are our lands. <clears throat> All right, so that's two attacks for Quinn. We maybe have like blinding assault be another two attacks. The War Mother will unite us all. Push back the darkness. Down to five. Maybe I should, oh, I guess Culling Strike. Maybe I should have waited till my turn and played this and then had Riposte to protect it from Culling Strike. Yes. <clears throat> oh, I guess we'll just have to attack with Quinn. Still heart, steady aim. This is our homeland! Lead the target. Wish I would have told my turn for that blinding, that Quinn's blinding assault. The time is right. Strike now. This is my Quinn dying, but we keep Badger Bear and Lucian alive. Where Valor goes, victory follows. It's our time to shine, Valor. Stand and defend. It's also two things dying, so now Lucian's at three out of uh, three out of four. Yeah, the Frostbite's just destroyed us. Yep, Frostbite was just perfect against what we're trying to do. The biggest mistake I made was, like, really the, the big mistake I made was definitely playing the the Blinding Assault on, on their turn and not just waiting until my turn and, ha and being able to have Repose for the Culling Strike. That was the biggest mistake I made. Again, no Rangers Resolve. Again, we need, we need Challengers. Alright, well those are some challengers. A little difference on the mana cost. <laughs> you know, we got the the cheapest one and the most expensive one. Now we'll see if we can get anything right in the middle. There we go. That's right in the middle. For silver I talk, for gold I taste it. Why would they not attack? Unclear. Who does not know the name Laurent? You call this a fight? Hardly fair. Responsibility to just let them trade. We'll save these spells to go along with Genevieve's and stuff like that. I talk to spirits. These are my rules. Bring me tea. 
Because we may need it to, you know, we, we may need these things to be able to do a whole bunch of damage with them having, you know, like that uh, astral protection card. I wish I could add the Inspiring Mentor on this protege. That would have made life a little easier. So, Astral Protection turns that thing into being seven. Um, so two, four, six, seven. Gosh, that's just so annoying. There is assistant. It's just like not even worth trying to like challenge and trying to work up to seven. It's not even. Not even worth it. I would I would like them to use an astral protection right here, and be I could trade repose for astral protection. That would be nice. Gotta trade repose for hush. That's not as nice. But again, that's that's them not using hush on these things. So that's good. I scrutinize something scrumptious. Yeah, rush would have worked there also, but it's it's. I don't know. I thought it was harder to turn on Genevieve plus. Uh, repose. And yeah, Rush just works so well with Genevieve. Um, Excuse my impertinence. These woods belong to us. Better. We look after our own. We're all family here. Okay, so they're tapped out. They're at five and seven with these. Okay. I was gonna go rush on. I was gonna go rush on this thing over here. By the way, the on the on my three two challenger. You have your bigger challengers against smaller elusives. All right, we're, we're playing against the deep deck. So we'll keep Lucian Senna. And we'll mulligan these two. I don't know. It's it's hard to mulligan Genevieve Elmhart. That card's just great. We'll keep the Lucian Senna combo. Okay, um, yeah, let's go Lucian on four also, so both Lucian and Senna can get through, like, the one fours. This Inspiring Mentor has been pretty cool. Mentor, do I want you to die? No, not really. We'll keep you alive. That is a pretty cool combo. That's that's a big deal with Lucian being a four two instead of a three one against these. You're late. You're early. Get the trash! Eat the trash! <laughs> no room for doubt. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep this inspiring mentor alive for a little bit. I also like playing the Senna that gives us the one mana available to be able to hold up with like a Ranger's Resolve that could be pretty nice.
Yeah, get that thing out of here. I do not want to see that card. I mean, name a champion with challenger that just wins the game? Well, that's that's a weird way to quantify the usefulness of a keyword. But, I mean, Fiora wins lots and lots of games. And Fiora Shen is currently one of the best decks. The Scouts is... You know, Scouts is considered the best deck right now, and it's built around challengers. Like, that's that's the whole point. Like, Scouts is built around that. Uh, yeah, Lee Sin. Yeah, Lee Sin's another great champion with challenger. All right, so am I playing Genevieve Elmhart? That's the question. I guess so. Basically, the best thing that they can do is Devour Adepts. It's like, I could go Genevieve Elmhart, then they go Devour Adepts. Now, they could go Devour Adepts anyway. Like, even if I'd, like, just attack with, like, Scouts, and they go Devour. Makes perfect. So, yeah, I can't really stop Devour. Quiet of the woods. There's nothing like it. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's worth it, though. My plan is basically to have, you know, probably rush the Genevieve. Have Genevieve kill Devour, have the 3-2, kill this Abyssal Eye, hit him for 4, and then hit him for... 14, uh, 20, so we hit him for 24 total. Alright, they did not cast Devour. I'm going to see what they do here first before just going Rush on the Valor, because we're still in a great spot. All right, they don't have anything. GG's. Well, that was a really impressive game. Inspiring Mentor making 4-2 Lucian was awesome. He's gonna be good. <laughs> Speaking of ready for lunch, that's Harvey right here. All right, what do we got? Misfortune Gangplank. Perfect. So I'm going to keep the, the Rush Genevieve Elmhart combo for turn six. We have Inspiring Mentor Lucian. There's one spring for each crab I saw today. Push back the darkness. Which, you know, we don't want to lead with the Blinding Assault because of. Burn away the shadow. And I guess I guess I just trade Mentor for that, I guess. Okay, they do not trade. Basically it would make make it rain. Um, I'm not sure. Question is is why is Lucian a champion and Senna isn't? I don't know. You know, like I I don't know, yeah, I would I guess isn't from what I know now I d I don't play League of Legends, so I'm not exactly sure, but from what I understand Senna is a champion in League of Legends. They're as good as dead. You're adorable when you're angry. So they're just giving me leveled up Lucian if I want to take it. Nah. Because I just feel like I block with Senna, I level up my Lucian, and then they, um, yeah, then they like Noxion Fervor, kill my Lucian, and we're in a lot of trouble. Um, yeah, we'll just keep her post available. Okay. Maybe I should have leveled up Lucian. They didn't seem like they had Noxion Fervors. Finger on the tree. Stay back. Stand and fight. Ten or twelve. Don't 
duck on my account. Aren't I supposed to get... Oh, right, right, right. New, new Lucian would, would level up in this case. Or, like, you know, we would get the attack token with New Lucian in this scenario. But we don't have New Lucian yet. This definitely could be me just getting burned out to death. Hopefully not. You know, we got eight life. A lot of our life. The wood can't fight back, but I can. Maybe I should have gotten blinding assault first. Yeah, I guess I probably should have. I just, I was so focused on playing that. I didn't really adjust to drawing the Blinding Assault. I should have played that first. This is mercy. Got our extra attack with Lucian. We haven't done the scout attack yet. We're about to do the scout attack. Their pride will cost them. So there's the scout attack. Now we have our regular attack. I'll make corpses of them all. No room for doubt. Yeah, I can attack like that. Do I just want... And then, you know, like, they, they have to block, you know, like, so they have to block with Gangplank. I guess I do that, but then that, they get to keep Powder Keg. Yeah, I guess they just get, get to keep Powder Keg. I'll cut my name into you. you know, it could challenge the Powder Keg, but no, can't, you know, like, with, like, the Lucian and challenge the Gangplank with the Genevieve. And so I, I could challenge both of those and keep them with the 2-2 two -two instead of having them keep the Powder Keg. You have work to do. Get on it. So three out of five with Gangplank. Yeah, quick attack on scouts is pretty awesome. Damage. Burn away the shadows. All right, pollution got there. GGS. Down to one. The only life we needed. But yeah, that's that's what we're doing. Is yeah, we're trying to get multiple attacks with the quick attack challenger. Yeah, that's 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 pretty strong. That's what our deck's trying to do. Um, we ran into the Frostbite deck, which is a perfect counter to what we're doing. And so that was rough. Grizzled Ranger isn't bad here, and maybe I, I should have just kept Grizzled Ranger. I, you know, I want to go for the, you know, keeping the rush to try to go for, like, the challengers. Um, but, you know, like, this this is probably a Mistwraith deck. And um, Grizzled Ranger can, you know, like, one Grizzled Ranger can trade with two Mistwraiths. So it's not bad. Let's go Fleet Feather Tracker. I don't really need Fleet Feather Tracker to be three health unless they're playing Elise. Hmm. There's nothing to fear. Bring me tea to gain the strength of rivers. I'll show you how it's done. All right, so they are playing Elise, so we'll use Rush to kill it. That's pretty good though, right? One mana removal for their two mana champion. Pretty good. Yeah, Inspiring Mentor has been pretty strong. 
Yeah, I could have missed some damage if they passed. Basically, I would have been because I didn't. I don't really like the like on on here. I don't really like the Genevieve getting this inspiring mentor. I I would have you know if we would have passed, we could have maybe had inspiring mentor go on like the protege or something else. Break their spirits and their swords. Wow. Oh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, wow, that's that's really bad for me. And then I was like, wait a minute. We got Ranger's Resolve. All right, that's good. Post was one of our tricks that was a little cheaper. You know, like our one, two mana plus two plus two, or a rush. You know, basically any of the, the tricks that were cheaper, I would be pretty happy about it. Obviously, I'm not trying to play around Ruination at all. If they, if they play Ruination, they probably just win the game. Doing this to hopefully get a scout attack. Mm, that's very good. That is very good. I'd assume that wins the game. I don't know though. You know, like game's not over, but that was very good. If only we had Rush still, right? Could have, you know, rushed the Genevieve and then be able to challenge with it again. Rush would have been perfect. I don't know what the point of that was. I'll show you how it's done. I got surprised they didn't play another Mistrate to turn these Mistrates into 5 twos. So that I couldn't keep both of my protégés alive. Blocking with the Quinn gives me the space to play new Quinn. Oh, it doesn't give me the space to play new Quinn. Need to attack with the Valor first, I guess. That's an awkward draw. Grizzled Ranger was potentially the worst card in the entire deck to draw. How I couldn't, uh, couldn't cast it. Yeah, I can't cast it here, and it's also just not very good. <laughs> That's probably the worst card to possibly draw. We're not done yet. Their stalking shadows missed. We've over the last week we've we've been playing against some people that have been missing with their stalking shadows. Scouting ahead. D for two. Aha. Hardly fair. Patience makes perfect. 
going to be a close game. Please pass. Don't play anything that's fearsome. Please pass. I can't afford for them to have anything that's fearsome, and I can't afford for them to have Hecarim. Oh, well, that's all that's fearsome. <sighs> Lucian, that would have been good to have you last turn. I just have all every single Mr. Eighth. Yeah, Grizzled Ranger was just the worst draw. You know, like if we would have just even if we would have just switched these two. Grizzled Ranger was just the worst draw on the deck. Last turn. Demacia does not forget, and neither do I. All right, three and two. That go get it play was amazing, right? Like that that go get it with that four three, that was wonderful. Um, I guess I use I probably use my rush too early on that Elise. I guess but I don't know that. We needed to kill that Elise. Uh, we needed one more rush, right? Like one other rush um, would have been perfect. Super close. Yep, super close. GG's. All right, so that's Lucian Quinn, though. Pretty sweet. And, you know, playing rush with these with these uh, um, scout challengers is really cool. And that's what our deck is doing. That's just an awesome combination. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's really cool. Um... You know, try to dodge Frostbite. <laughs> Frostbite's going to be pretty rough. Um, but besides that, our deck looked really good. Besides the uh, Frostbite one. All right, but anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. Always love seeing those. But thank you so much for watching some Lucian Quinn. And I'll see you for the next video.